Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Slam and Synapsis right here on Facebook and YouTube. Once again, this segment is going to be submitted for possible inclusion to the PWInsider.com family of sites, PWInsider.com, PWInsiderElite.com, and PWInsiderExtra.com. No E in that, in that extra. Um, like I said before... Elite's a definitely a great site. It's a paid site, though. Yeah, it's a lot of great audio, a lot of great video. Insight into the wrestling world with people like Simon Dean, Mike Bucci, Les Thatcher, and so much more. Check them out. You won't be disappointed. Um, today, we'll also get some other business out if you want to subscribe. You see a button up here someplace. If you're viewing me through YouTube, click on that. Keep up to date. If you want to drop me a comment, there's a thing down at the bottom. Take advantage of that, too. If you're viewing me through a phone, there's some place in there that you can subscribe to it. Go ahead and do so. Like I said, keep up to date with me that way. And so we're going to go underway with the with this week's installment. Um, first off, before we get to the main crux of what we're going to go into, and I, I never thought I'd be going into one thing more than anything else on a weekly basis that maintains a ongoing flow, but this is well worth it. It's the CM Punk situation that everyone's talking about. I'm not going to give you too much of the history. If you want to keep up to date on that, PWNSIRA.com is a great place to do that. All the information, just going to give you my opinions here. It's good that they decided to keep him. It's good that he decided to stay. He's bringing a breath of fresh air that's never before been seen in the company. Um, he, like I said, he speaks from the heart. He gets the point across. Um, as you saw by Raw this last week, this last Monday, it's definitely created an impact to where people like CM Punk more than Cena. But then again, CM Punk, like I said, is a breath of fresh air. Where Cena's just going through the motion over and over and over again. It's just kind of, eh. Gone are the days of ruthless aggression, but we hope we get that back. As a matter of fact, check out one of my previous installments. I miss ruthless aggression, John Cena. It gives my take on where he came from and where he came, where he went off track. So, check it out. <clears throat> so today we're going to get into the main crux. And before I go any further, as well, um, think I got the computer situation straightened out. So we may come back at you with the way that we normally came to you before, but I think I'm kind of liking this one. It gives me the ability to roam and take this anywhere and record it ahead of time if I need to and upload it when I get home. So we may continue to do it this way. If you have any feedback one way or the other, drop me a line. be more than happy to read it. Um, so today we're going to go into reader feedback. Um, got a response from one of my YouTube videos through YouTube plus a letter as well. And got a got a question as well. <laughs> question from a couple of people. So we're gonna deal with that first. Someone has told me why do you choose to submit your stuff for PWInsider.com? Um I think I may have mentioned this on one of my first installments, but here he goes. Then again I pre went into it briefly. Um, I was a member of OneWrestling.com back when the gang were there with Joey Styles, Bob Ryder, etc. They, the group of Buck Woodward, Dave Shearer, Dave Shearer, Mike Johnson, and Jess McGrath went on to do PW Insider. I subscribed to it sight unseen, and I knew I was going to be in for a good entertainment or entertaining site to check out wrestling information and the like. So, um, like I said, I wrote a letter for a news column before. Um, I submitted some stuff for inclusion on their site before in written form, but there was a time when I started going off the rails. So I stopped writing and decided late, later to do my own video log. Like I said, it was therapeutic for me. So... Why did I choose PW Insider? I'm like, why not? It's definitely a good site to go to. Um, people have asked me, well, why aren't you on the main site? Why don't you push for that? Well, hopefully I'll get there, but I'm happy being on an extra. It's like I'm associated or my work is being shown on one of their sites, whether it be 
those sites, PWI Pop. I mean, I'm I'm on a good site that I'm happy to associate my video logs with and submit to. So, for those of you that wonder why out of all the new sites I chose them, because it's a great site. It's a great, wonderful site that I believe in. That I put my that I would pretty much tell to anyone to go to. I mean, you have other sites out there. I'm not going to give them the publicity here, but you know who you are. But like I said, I'm pretty much on the best wrestling site or best website that I've ever seen. So I have no problem with that. So like I said, if I if I get to the main port, if I get to the main site, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm happy where I'm at. So, to those of you who may wonder, that's why. Um, I'm pulling some stuff on my laptop here. Got some feedback. First one is going to be in response to my Are You Ribbing Me TNA segment that I did. Basically, that was my response to the Sting video that they did. Was That was a complete ripoff of the Undertaker thing. Right down to the same font. Um, this comes from BlackRock316. I'm surprised the TNA even came up with something like this. I think Sting screwed up his chances of going to the Hall of Fame with the crap he went along with. The Rock return would always be the biggest thing that happened this year. As I said before, Sting looks like the type of guy who doesn't know how important his character is. What are they going to do for Sting this year? Feud with Anderson and Jeff Hardy? Well, he's kind of done that. But I kind of agree with this. It's like... It's like Sting could have been much more. Clash of Champions won. He was he was it. And he could have transcended to a higher level, but for some reason, he hasn't. I don't know if it was due to being in a poisonous work environment like WCW or what, but Sting should be at a point to where people say, Hey, that's Sting in the same in the same way that they mentioned like a Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair or an Ultimate Warrior, or a John Cena, or a Rock, or people of that nature. But for some reason, he's not. And, like this, like he says, he doesn't know how important his character is, which is why he languishes where he's at. So, but yeah, I do want to thank you for dropping me that comment. The second comment was an email that I received from a Mr. Perry Woodman. It comes to me from Illinois. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he wrote a pretty long letter. I'm just going to pull out some fragments here. Um, he's an MMA guy. He clicked on my site by accident. Um, he saw he's a fan of CM Punk, and if you look at my videos through certain sites, you'll see a topic what it is. He decided to check it out, and he agreed with what I said about CM Punk. He also agreed with what I said about commentating with regards to with regards to likening it to baseball announcers, because he kind of agrees with me. Um, he said that it's not like he's going to jump back into wrestling the way he used to, because he used to be a full-time, used to be much more of a wrestling fan than he is now. And he says that viewing the segment kind of refreshed and renewed his viewpoint on wrestling. So... <laughs> I, it's great for me to hear that if if this has an effect on one of you I'm very happy with that he also says thanks to the guys at PW Insider and you for promoting this and airing this like I said I do want to thank you for those kind words there um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions feel free to drop me a line at agurie at yahoo.com that's a-g-o-u-r-r-i-e-r at yahoo.com or like I said, you see a comment section that you want to put down the bottom. Um, I'd be more than happy to read it. Without you guys, I'm just a guy talking to a camera. And we discussed that already. So next week we're going to go into WCCW World Class Championship Wrestling. So until then, this is Albert Gurrieff from Slam and Snaps. saying see you next week. So long from ringside. And have a good night, everybody.